Don't go in there. There's nothing in that place but STDs and broken dreams. But STDs and broken dreams. Uh, why are you out here? Why are you out here? Uh, you are running your mouth. You better get out of here. That's right. No. No, the hey. police have already said we're here. The police have already said we're fine. How about you? Don't go in there, pervert. That's a house of harlots. A playhouse of prostitutes and perverts. You need to turn from your sin. You need to go home and read your Bible. Go to a Bible-believing church. Do something, anything but go into the wicked playhouse. The place of broken dreams, STDs, and failed college exams, whatever the case led these women here to be used and misused by men, to use men themselves, to live in wickedness. Hold on. to turn from your sin and trust in Jesus Christ instead of playing at the playhouse you need to go to the pray house yep. and pray for God to forgive you of your sins pray and repent turn from your sins and be saved repent so that your sins will be blotted out like the sign says don't go in there that's a den of demons that's a house of harlots don't be a pervert and participate in the pervert activities in their ogling women, lusting after women, or be a woman making men lust after you. So that little fence, that little fence is not hiding, uh, hiding you from the eyes of God. The eyes of God are everywhere beholding the wicked and the good. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes, Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God will bring it all into account, including every secret thing, whether it be good or evil. So that's right. It looks like you're turning around. That's good. Turn those lights on. Go home, dust off that Bible, and read it. Amen. I don't think he ever got out, did he? Mm -hmm. I don't think he ever got out. Amen, amen. We might have, uh, we might have the first... Uh, First, uh, first turnaround, first repenter. That's good news. I didn't see you get out of that car. I hope. I hope that you've seen the words of God on the banner. I hope you've heard the words of God in your ear. And that is why you're turning around and going home. Now, it's time to go home. You need to do, take it one step further. Go home. It's not enough to just flee this wicked place. Time to go home, dust off your Bible, and read it and obey it. That's what you need to do. And don't ever go back to that place. Don't ever go back to that wicked place. There's nothing holy. So that's the message for tonight. Hebrews 12, 14. Without holiness, no man shall see God. Go home, read your Bible, obey it, and be holy. Don't go in there. There's nothing in that place but STDs and broken dreams with them. But no, we came out here for you tonight. We're here for you and because somebody's praying for you, and if nobody is, God still wants you to be saved. God sent us out here because He's merciful, and He would that none should perish, but that all should have everlasting life. But you're not going to get everlasting life sitting in a strip club, a filthy strip club, full of filthy perverts and filthy prostitutes. You're not going to have everlasting life there. No fornicators or adulterers are going to enter in the kingdom of God. No. That's somebody's daughter in there. That could be somebody's mother in there. But it's definitely somebody's daughter. And you're sitting there lusting after them. Why don't you perverts think about if that was your daughter, your mother, your girlfriend or wife, or your sister up there. And some nasty, disgusting drunk is up there trying to cop a fill, lusting after him, throwing George Washington's out on him. If he's, a, if he's cheap, it's, it's the quarters, not dollar bills. But. but there may be a baller in there tonight that's got the right price to take her home. He might just, there is, they all have a price in there. And even if they won't go home with you, they're prostituting their bodies. They're not glorifying God with their bodies. 
or their actions or their thoughts. She said the Bible says to bring every thought into obedience to Jesus Christ. You're not doing that. You're in there lusting after women, and for the women, you're making men lust after you. You're grinding on some hepatitis infected pole. Because once again, folks, that's a playhouse of broken dreams and STDs. So bring the ladies out. We're having the Playhouse Bible Study. I know it's been a while. I know it's been a while since this strip club has had a Bible study out in the parking lot. But uh, we're continuing. We're going to uh, start off the Playhouse Bible Study. And we are in Proverbs chapter 1. We're starting in verse 20. And it says, Wisdom cries aloud in the street. In the market, she raises her voice. At the head of the noisy street, she cries out. At the entrance of the city gate, she speaks. How long, O oh simple ones, will you love being simple? How long will you scoffers delight in their scoffing, and fools hate knowledge? If you turn at my reproof, I will pour out my spirit to you, and I will make my words known to you. Ladies, that's good news. That's good news. You don't have to uh, make your living being in there, uh, hating men, turning to lesbianism, having a bunch of uh, middle-aged, overweight, booze and cigarette breath men leering over your body just so you can make a few dollars to pay your rent. There are better ways. Ladies, there's a better life, and that is through the Lord Jesus Christ. So let me uh, continue on with the Playhouse Bible study, and we are in Matthew 13. Now, Proverbs 1 gave you uh, some hope. It gave you some hope that if you will turn from your scoffing, if you will delight in wisdom, delight in the words of the Lord, then uh, he, will, uh, he will reveal himself to you. He will make himself known to you and show you a better life than this miserable existence that you're living inside that building. But if you will not turn, Matthew 13, in Matthew 13, it says the Son of Man will send out his angels and they will weed out of his kingdom everything that causes sin, ladies, everything that causes sin and all who do evil. That's the gods. They will throw them into the fiery furnace where there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. This is an announcement to both the ladies who are dancing and causing the men to lust and you men who are supporting this wickedness and allowing this place to exist here year after year. Understand this, whichever side of the equation you're on in there in the strip club, the Bible says that the Son of Man will send out his angels and they will weed out of his kingdom everything that causes sin and all who do evil. You women are the ones that are causing sin, and you men are the ones that are doing evil. And they will throw them into the fiery furnace where they be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Folks, come on out of that building, go home, read your Bible, and obey it. Because all you're doing is in that side of that building is being on that broad road that's leading to destruction. And that building is nothing but a building filled with STDs and broken dreams. The word of the Lord has been brought before you tonight. Uh, why are you out here? Why are you out here? Uh, you are running your mouth. You better get out of here. That's right. No, no. The police have already said we're here. The police have already said we're fine. How about you? How about you? Uh, Kiss my ass. You judge No, people, thank you. I'm not a nobody homo. Nobody has anything to say. Uh, yes, Jesus said when you judge, judge with righteous judgment. But I think the Holy Spirit conviction is coming all over you, sir. Because we've watched you drive around in circles all frustrated and mad. I think that's the Holy Spirit conviction coming upon you. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. It's better to be under the conviction of the Holy Spirit than to be apathetic. I don't think you're going to be able to jerk off tonight, sir, because you're going to have erectile dysfunction because the Holy Spirit's working too hard on you. The Holy Spirit has worked too hard on you. You will not be able to uh, to masturbate or enjoy your porn. That's praise God. I think I think actually the Holy Spirit 
has done some some mighty work out here tonight. <laughs> this convicted him that much. We'll see uh, I know. This man, it's time. I, Holy Spirit is working on your heart, sir. You're not going to be able to enjoy porn tonight. That is good news. Keep that thing rolling. Right. You're not. No, we don't. No, we do not. Jesus said that uh, that your eye causes you sin. Gouge out. You're not going to be able to enjoy your porn tonight, sir. The Holy Spirit has ruined your night of pornography. Hooray. Praise God. <laughs> There's no way that is that. That man, uh, for those watching the video, that man has been in and out of this place and there's no there's like not been much activity and except for that pervert repent that man has been in and out of this place about five times circling around uh coming back to yell at us this is that the holy spirit has brought conviction this yep. is it amen so uh, they're gonna make their money tonight the playhouse and the adult video store you're gonna make your money tonight uh you know add up all your receipts tonight uh, but the Holy Spirit is doing a mighty work out here tonight. And I think a lot of these men are coming under the conviction of the Holy Spirit. And uh, they're, they're going to turn in their frequent flyer miles here. They're going to turn in their frequent uh, purchase card because uh, they're not going to need it anymore. They're not going to need it anymore. This is good news. Praise God. Praise God. I, I think the Holy Spirit is finally uh, going to do a work and shut these businesses down. And that's a good thing. It's better that these businesses be shut down uh, through the course of, of regular capitalism because men's hearts no longer wanted this wickedness. Maybe they'll go down to Wendy's or McDonald's and spend their money and time on a hamburger or you know, soda. Maybe they'll actually go back home and take care of their families. But I don't think we're going to have any more repeat customers. Amen. You. Time to go home. Don't come back to this place again. Go home. Repent. Read your Bible. and obey. <laughs> There's no holiness going on inside that building. No holiness. Come on down. Come on down. Don't turn into the adult video store. Come on down. Get home. That's your, that's your Bible verse for tonight. Your study verse. Your memory verse. Memory verse for tonight, Hebrews 12, 14. Without holiness, no man shall see God. Turn in, turn in your VIP card. You're not going to need it anymore. You're not going to be able to enjoy that porn you're going to plan on watching tonight because the Holy Ghost is coming out here with the guys with banners and bullhorns. The Holy Ghost, somebody prayed for you people. Somebody's been praying for you people that you would repent. You're not going to be able to enjoy your porn tonight because the Holy Ghost will convict you. Amen. Amen. Don't go in there. There's nothing in that place but STDs and broken dreams.